Welcome back, La Mia Colazon, to Live on Bowen. Our first guest tonight was a competitor on The Voice, being chosen by Kylie Minogue and then being mentored by Ricky Martin. She has just finished starring in the Australian debut of her hit musical Dream Girls. Not her one, but you, you know, she was the star of it. And I'm so pleased to welcome her beautiful voice and a wonderful presence. Please welcome Tando Sikwila. <laughs> It's your musical, you own it. Thanks for coming. Please take a seat. Dream Girls. Is that your dream role? Yes. Effie from Dream Girls? Yes, I couldn't let the show come to Australia without me playing that role. How did you snag the role? You, um, had, you had your people get in touch with them? People, I don't know, people. It was um, just you standing out the front going, please let no, me play Effie. I got an email saying that the show was about to happen. Great. So I, Found myself an agent mm -hmm. and I said, hey, can you put me forward for this role, please? Because I feel like I need to be in the show. And it wasn't easy during the audition process because I've never done theatre before. Right. So I rocked up to the first audition in vans <laughs> and leopard print leggings and I just I looked a hot mess. And every other girl that was there going for the role just was professional from start to finish, so I knew I had to get lift, my stuff together. Lift so your I game. Could, yeah. Or do you think that was part of the charm? They're like, oh, yeah, casual, she knows what she's doing. Uh, look, I don't know. I feel like by each callback that I had, mm -hmm. I just showed them that I wanted it more and more, and, oh, and that's I got good. it, so I'm happy. So you got rid of the vans after the first <laughs> Oh, no, I never wore the vans again. <laughs> okay, so. well, that's good. It's, it's a tough role, right? The, the singing, like, air constantly every day. Yeah. It was, I, in fact, I remember you telling me about a, a nightmare uh, situation that happened during, do you want to tell us that? Um, so I think it was about a week into the show and we just had had an eight week, eight week, mm. eight show week. Mm -hmm. um, coming up to the last show, I was singing And I'm Telling You, which is one of the big ballads, which the show is probably... I sing it in the shower. I know. <laughs> probably best known for. And I'm in the middle of the song and I just had no voice. Nothing was coming out and I think I was just exhausted. Yeah. I was tired and my voice just couldn't couldn't hold on and I had to start making things up on the spot so I could get through it because I couldn't I couldn't sing so you just talked the through the rest of the song well I was singing but it wasn't the right song <laughs> oh, really? what do you mean <laughs> you should break into when my baby when my baby feels real well, I just started changing the melody and oh, really? I was kind of going on the fly and thank god I'm a musician as well to have been able to to do that I feel right. like if I was very set in my ways, it would have been a very bad show for people who'd paid their money and not heard the song the way it sung. Right. But yeah. do, do, do you think people noticed? Oh, yeah. Oh, they know. Whether, okay. <laughs> whether they, they still enjoyed it. Not. Yeah, I, well, I, think, I think people mm. appreciated the perseverance because they could see that I was struggling. But it's one of those things that I learned about. Yeah. I've never had to be in that kind of situation where I'm using my voice constantly. And we'd done a show earlier that afternoon as well. So my voice was Exhausted, tired. Yeah. I was tired but I feel like I'm a lot more vocally fit now. Oh, that it. sounds impressive. So I'm ready to do, you know, three months at a time. Oh, really? Get at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, you've got an agent now, so hopefully... Hopefully we can get yeah, some work Yeah, get some up. work happening. Looking for work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very, it's, it's an honour to be in the, it was the debut, it was the first ever Dream, yeah. Dream Girls in Australia. So uh, would you move overseas to continue doing it? Um, I don't... I don't know. I feel I'm very... Melbourne's pretty great, isn't it? Melbourne's great. Yeah. It's everything that I need is here. Yeah. Um, in terms of theatre, I think it's fantastic. The production company Stage Art, they actually pride themselves in bringing a lot of shows to Australia that aren't generally done here. Because mm -hmm. um, I know earlier that year as well, they'd done In the Heights, and that was the Australian um, cool. premiere of that as well. Right. If Stage Art continue to do that, then there is an opportunity for me to right. be able to build my profile up as, as, as an actress. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Um, but you also do, <laughs> you're a recording artist as well. Yes, I You am. have an EP out. I have an EP that was meant to be out, but I've been recording oh. it. <laughs> We've, we started recording in November, and I just have a lot of other opportunities that were coming up, and I don't want to rush it and just have it out for the sake of having it out. I want it to be perfect, so that's all still happening. And what can we expect? Give us a little a taste. Um, a lot of synths. A little, really? Love me some synths. Wow. Think electronic soul. I know that's a, a really big sound at the right. moment in the local scene. And lyrically, scene. what do we expect? Just honest, heartfelt. Like, like what? What's a line? Give us a line. Oh. Is it about boys? It's about one boy. It's about one boy. Does he know? 
He's the producer. Oh, really? There you go. <laughs> he's my boyfriend's my producer, and he's yeah. also he's also in the band. So, we, I think we've gotten past the point of being awkward about what my lyrics are. Oh, really? He, just, he takes it for what it is, and like what? What do you say about it? Uh, look, <laughs> come on, it's going to be out anyway. You you know, it's not out yet. We're waiting. What kind of stuff are we allowed to talk about on the show? Uh, well, you, you can you can allude to things. Are they sexual? Love making. <laughs> Mom, oh sorry. my goodness. Well, that's so awesome.